do you avoid probate if all you own is a house? Let's talk about transfer on death deeds. If you only own a house, there is a way you can avoid probate by saying who will get that house when you die that is not a will. And that procedure can be used if you don't own anything else. But if you own a bank account, a car, investments, retirement, then those things are going to have to go through probate anyway. So it's not going to avoid probate for you. And of course, you wouldn't want to do this if you're going to sell your house. So it's something that's done towards the end of your life when you know that you're never going to buy another house. If the only thing that you own is a house and it's toward the end of your life and you want to transfer that house to someone when you die, there are two ways to do it. The old traditional way that we've had for decades in Texas is known as a ladybird deed named after the uh, president's uh, president LBJ's wife, Lady Bird Johnson. And that deed um, is not revocable. It says that you continue to own the property for your lifetime, but the minute you die, the remainder interest goes to the person that you've named in this deed, and they immediately own it as soon as you die. Now, that deed gets filed in the county deed records, and you can't change your mind later. The only way to change it would be for the person that you gave the future interest to deed it back to you. They would have to sign a deed and you'd, you'd have to file that in the deed records showing that they conveyed their interest back to you. There is another way that has been formed by the legislature recently in the statute and it's called a revocable transfer on death deed. The revocable transfer on death deed goes a step further and says, whenever both you and the first person dies, or um, the survivor of the two of you dies, then what do you want to happen to your property? And it, it um, relates to your children and your children's children, which is what some people want, but not what everybody wants. Not everybody wants to leave an undivided interest to all their children, particularly if they have a blended family. So it is a little more complicated to do this revocable deed. If you are considering doing a deed like this, you wanna carefully consider both options and the pros and cons of each in your particular situation and whether or not that's the right thing to do given your whole estate and your position in life. My name is Laura Hurd and if you would like for me to help you with this, give me a call.